Let's talk about two things today. So, the first, schools which are eligible for the postgraduate work permit. Schools which are not eligible for the postgraduate work permit. This is our topic of discussion in today's video. Your opinion comes, right? Let me know what you think about this topic in the comment section below. My name is Njukan Roosevelt. I am a student recruitment and placement officer. I am also a visa facilitator. Right, let's get down straight to the video. In today's video, I want to give you my personal opinion when it comes to schools which are eligible for the postgraduate work permit and schools which are not eligible for the postgraduate work permit. These are my analysis and I'll give you reasons why I believe schools without BGWP are now getting high visa chances. That is a fact and I'll give you reasons why I believe so. Watch this video to the end and I'll be right back to give you my analysis. Welcome back to my channel. If you are meeting me for the very first time, you are highly welcome to the community. The community can accommodate definitely everybody, right? And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for always supporting me in this wonderful journey. Guys, you can also stay connected with me on Instagram, on TikTok, and on Facebook. So, let's get down straight to the video. Let's start from the student side of it. As a student, your role is to get a school that will permit you to work after you study. That means you are looking for a school that offers or that is eligible for the postgraduate work permit. Right? That is okay as a student. As an immigration officer, right? Let's say I am a Canadian immigration officer. I am looking for students who do not have intentions to live and work in Canada after their study. I want students that will respect the terms of their visa. Given the fact that a student visa is a temporary visa and you must demonstrate that that visa you are going to obtain, you are going to use it to enter Canada. And once your study is over, you can get outside Canada. That is an immigration agent spa. As an immigration agent, you are looking at students who enter Canada genuinely to study, then leave after they are done or they are completed their studies that is how an immigration officer is looking at a student you on your part as a student you are looking with your own intention on how you can study and live longer in canada after your graduation now looking at these two things let's weigh it down i think first of all the immigration first of all has a final say so let's weigh back to the immigration officer's part he wants students that would demonstrate intentions to return back to their home country Mind you guys, a lot of you have my numbers. This week we have we had five visa approvers. One of them was a visitor's visa, and four were all study visas. And it will shock you to know that all these visas came from schools which are not postgraduate work permit eligible. And that is why I'm doing this video to talk about it based on my own analysis. It is very clear, it is no longer new. That if you are studying in a school that is postgraduate work permit eligible, you will not be able to live and work after your graduation. Automatically, it sends a message to an immigration officer. I don't know if you guys can picture it out the way I'm trying to look at it, or the way I'm seeing the whole stuff. You got admission in a school that does not offer postgraduate work permit eligible, which simply means you cannot live and work after your graduation. It simply also means you'll be able to leave Canada once your study is completed. That automatically demonstrates your intention to return. That's a fact. Remember, a study visa is a temporary visa and you must demonstrate and satisfy an immigration officer that you are going to go to Canada to study and once the study is completed, you will leave Canada. But you as a student on your part, you are looking for a school that will permit you to live and work longer in Canada after your graduation. But then, remember first, your first objective should be how do I get a study visa? That should be your first objective. Remember, I cannot tell you guys everything on live, on, over the internet. I can never do that. But mind you, there are ways you can live in Canada 
longer even with schools that are not eligible for the postgraduate work permit so why not increase your visa chances with schools that are not eligible for the postgraduate work permit guys like i said your opinion counts let me know what you think about this video in the comment section just let me know i know it can be very very difficult and very very frustrating but trust me it has been proven many times the student visa is the highest visa you can get It's the most simplest visa you can get the student visa is the easiest visa you can get but at the same time it happens to be the most expensive visa that is a fact right it is the most expensive you have to spend that from application fee registration fee deposit fee all those things but it still remains the most easiest visa to obtain are you okay with me are you do you agree with me at that point so like i said guys your opinion counts we got four visa approvals this week for study permits alone and all of them are going to schools that are not postgraduate work permit eligible and it got me really really thinking twice yeah trust me so guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please you should consider hitting that subscription button below and also please do not also forget to turn on your post notification if you must stay updated with our videos weigh on these two factors schools that do not offer postgraduate work permit and schools that offer postgraduate work permit and weigh on the recent approvals for schools without postgraduate work permit trust me i can categorically tell you that canada immigration canada immigration is giving visa approvals to schools without postgraduate work permit because it automatically demonstrates your intention to return that's a fact i have done a couple of applications i have done a couple of applications for sure trust me these public schools <laughs> my experience shows that we have more approvals with PWDP, not eligible so what is your take just let me know in the comment section and mind you if you want to contact us you can contact us here yeah any of those numbers yeah any of them that was it guys that was it about today's video make your choice wisely and in my next video i will really want to guide you on how you can submit your study permit application to canada so you don't want to miss out on my next video if you are facing difficulties applying for a study visa yourself if you know you'll be applying with somebody who needs an open work permit for example if you apply with your spouse you must use the gc key but if you are applying individually you can use the ilcc portal so our next video we will be focused on the ilcc portal as a case study guys thank you for watching the video do not forget to subscribe and of course turn on your post notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye bye